How's it going guys and gals? Happy International Bike Day coming to you from Whistler, BC in the forest by checking this river on this lovely machine built green run. I'm a dude, I like to bike, I'm not very good. I'm kind of out of shape. Yeah, these videos are me getting back into biking and getting back into fitness and stepping up my skills as the summer progresses because what else are we gonna do in this lockdown, right? So I hope all you guys are having a good time on International Bike Day, even if you're just watching me biking, or wait, this might be the day after biking day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, biking is great. And yeah, so I'm out here in Whistler on a nice green trail with my dog. And I'm gonna be showing you guys one of my favorite circuits of, woo, I'll be showing you guys one of my favorite circuits of trails, kind of starting off from a nice beginner, like almost never been a Whistler before green runs and then stepping them up to some more technical blue runs and probably won't go too much more than that. I still have a sore wrist from skateboarding and uh, yeah, let's go on this first one. It's only my fifth or sixth ride on this bike, and so I'm really trying to get a feel for it still. Get used to playing with it. Because it's not only getting back into biking, but also a new bike and new wheel set. I'm used to 26. Uh, this bike is crazy good. Like, I am not a great climber, and I'm out of shape. And this thing is, I mean, these aren't hard climbs, but... <laughs> Still. Good girl. All right, another good climb here. This thing is too good. So good at climbing. All right, so that was a pretty good climb. I mean, it wasn't crazy, but the amount of grip, the amount of grip on these tires, the consistent grip, the hold, it's so good. You wanna go? There's so many awesome viewpoints along the river here that I didn't stop at because I was worried that dot would run down to try to get some water and it's so so high and powerful at the moment. Yeah, this definitely isn't an easy trail endurance wise, but technical wise it is. So, oh, I'm struggling. Yeah, one of the best things about biking for sure is I get to take my dog. Only thing with today is like 33 degrees out. It's like the hottest day of the year. So I just gotta find some water. Yeah, this bike is great to pedal with one-handed. Not scared of suspension bridges. I don't like that bridge so much. Oh, all right, it's me and you. Yeah. I got you. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah, you did it. Ah, she was happy to be done with that one. Suspension bridges are not her specialty. So the bridge basically marks halfway point in the trail and it is a cool bridge. We've been climbing up the river, we crossed over and now we're going down. It's mostly down. I think the main thing is just uh, keep it nice and easy for Dot. And so 
and trying to not go too fast. I'm really gonna try to work the bike. Get like intimate with my bike. Or not fully. Uh, <laughs> I'm jealous. Where are you going? Let's get out of here. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Let's open this up a little bit. You want to lead out? One, oh. Hey, careful. Hope you guys can see me. I'm here at the start of a river and sewer officially. And this is one of the oldest I think bike trails around Whistler. It's gone through a lot of changes over the years, but it's also become more accessible, so that's good. So yeah, you know, it is what it is. I feel like when they change the recipe of your favorite cereal or something, it's just not quite the same. So I don't know, this is kind of like a blue black. But uh, definitely really good technical riding, great for your endurance. A must do if you're here in Whistler. Let's go. Yeah, a lot of really cool skinnies throughout this whole thing. This half's definitely more work. Climbing most of the first third. Such a beast, this bike. Going that way. This is one of my favorite bits here where the stream just kind of braids out. And while you go through, have a look out for all these like relics. I remember riding this one back in the day. But I just kind of run out of disrepair. Not really worth saving, maybe a bit too technical too. And put in a bit more friendly stuff. All right, ready?
I will save this drop for another day. Huh. Yeah, need to get a bit better this stuff. My palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Woohoo! Oh, that was a close shave save. the closest stupid thing I've done today minus the other stupid things Such a good place to end your bike rides.